welcome to this year's second Oceanside High School Athletic Signing Day. My name is Paige Frucci. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. In case you have not attended one of our signing day ceremonies, we are members of the high school's broadcasting services who will create a special video about this event. That video, along with all the pictures from today, will be made available through your athlete's school email within a few weeks. Today we recognize the athletes who have been given the opportunity to continue their athletic careers at the college level. Before we introduce the athletes individually, I would like to introduce the principal of Oceanside High School, Dr. Brenda Mitchell. Thank you, Paige. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here today. It's always my distinct honor to kind of kick off the signing day ceremony, and as I stand over there, just always filled with such pride at, you know, at the athletes on the stage for sure, but also just looking out in the crowd and seeing the families and, and coaches and counselors and teachers. Uh, I do want to take a brief moment uh, to, to say a few more thank yous uh, before we, you know, we, we uh, continue the ceremony. Uh, and, and a lot of those thanks go to some of the people behind the scenes, uh, you know, our buildings and grounds crew, our security team, Mr. Chiazza and his sports supervisors, who are always an integral part of the practice and, and, and games that we have, keeping us safe, which is always uh, a huge uh, part of this. Uh, also, our district administration, uh, you know, for their support of our athletes, and, and certainly a lot of this is, is so much credit to, to, to Mr. Thomas Lehman, our athletic director, for all of his hard work. Uh, I don't know how he does it, He's, he seems to be everywhere all at once. I uh, want to thank also our NCAA coordinator, Mr. Frank Luisi. Uh, anybody who knows Mr. Luisi knows he's tireless in his effort to do what's best for kids. Uh, and that is, is such a, that's an amazing part of the program as well. Um, our teachers, uh, who, you know, some, they're in their classrooms focusing on their content, but certainly a lot of the work they do uh, is in conjunction with what it means to be a scholar athlete. So our teachers and our school counselors, who do so much in terms of you know, hearing the dream, hearing the ideas of some of our students, some of our families, and putting those dreams into a reality. That's another huge part of this. Uh, most uh, importantly, of course, our coaches, whose effort and guidance, leadership, continue over and over again to put Oceanside Athletics on the map. Um, one thing that uh, you know, Paige so, so uh, beautifully put is that another part of this, this event here is Tracy Busk's uh, class gets to kind of have this real world experience of almost, as you can see, almost like a press conference. The photos, the videos, the interviews, all of this to give that class this real world experience. Uh, and Ms. Busk has done such a tremendous job in, in growing that program, so I do want to thank her too. Uh, a few other thanks uh, to everybody here in the audience. Parents, uh, guardians, grandparents, siblings, um, teammates, everybody here for everything you've done throughout those years. I know as, as a parent of a hockey, baseball, and football player who's playing all three sports at one time, I don't know how we manage all of those weekend drive, you know, events and coaching and everything you've done along the way since the beginning, since they're at, at, at their littlest. And you know, a lot of the ceremony certainly is about you and your efforts as well, so I do thank you. Um, finally, to our student athletes, thank you. Um, thank you for representing Oceanside, and thank you for demonstrating a commitment to athletics, but also academics. And it's made us and me also incredibly proud, and we cannot wait to see all the amazing things you do next. So thank you, and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you, Paige, and thank you, Dr. Mitchell, for uh, all of those thank yous. Um, one, I, I always like to uh, congratulate our parents on these situations because um, this is a testament to your support, your love, and uh, your sacrifice as well. Um, I do have two daughters that are kind of coming up, and we'll see if they play sports and see, see uh, what sticks. But I know it, it, it really means a lot when you have families behind them. That's the only way that this happens. Um, for our coaches, some that are in our audience and some that are working elsewhere, um, you know, thank you for the tireless work that you guys are putting in, um, from our paid coaches to our volunteer assistants to, to everybody on our coaching staff that works year-round with these kids. Um, 
Athletics is not just, okay, yeah, I'm going to pick up a lacrosse stick, I'm going to pick up a football, and I'm going to be good at it. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. It's a lot of behind the scenes what we don't see. And that really separates uh, student athletes that are continuing on the next level uh, than those that are not. Um, and then the other thing is for you guys as student athletes, every single one of you sitting at this table has overcome an obstacle, has faced a difficulty or a challenging situation. And you have to make choices. And you, some of you had injuries, illnesses, um, whatever it may be, and it was your choice to continue and push through and battle and not give up and not quit. And that's the difference here. And when you go to college, you're going to face obstacles. You're going to want to come home, some of you, right away, uh, get past that first holiday break. And if you can stick it out, you're, you're set. Um, but that's natural. And you're going to have some things that you're going to overcome, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's playing, whether you choose to stop playing. Some things are going to come up in your life. And hopefully, uh, through athletics, you've learned along the way not to give up, not to quit. And that's the message. That's the biggest takeaway we can get from our athletic endeavors. When you guys started as children, Maybe your goal is just have fun. You're watching professional sports. Oh, I want to be like that person on TV. And then as you guys get older, it's reality. It's hard work. It's effort. But that makes you who you are. And it doesn't define you, but it helps create the person that you are. So remember these things. Remember the challenges that you faced, whether it's freshman year, whether it's senior year, whatever it is. When you go to college, you're going to face those obstacles. It might be different, but you know how to overcome them. Hopefully Oceanside has left a mark with you guys. You all have left a mark with Oceanside. Um, as I look at you guys and all wearing the college gear, make sure that you continue to wear that Oceanside gear. I know some of you probably have it and you can wear it every day of the week. Um, so, you know, continue to wear that. Your parents will be happy they don't have to buy you other clothes. And, uh, no, congratulations to you all. All of you have, like I said, overcome an obstacle to get here. And now it's just really the beginning. A lot of you, if not all of you, are participating in a spring sport, which is exciting. You guys are underway. Let's make it memorable. And uh, congratulations and best of luck to you. Thank you. Being an 
outstanding scholar there, and he had, um, went to Syracuse, and he's now a counselor at um, Plainview High School. But I'll never forget those days when he called me and he said, you know, I don't know if I can do this. You're all going to have that time. Don't be afraid of it. But your parents, your family, your coaches here, all of us, we all believe in you. And that's why Mr. Lehman and I gave you a little envelope that has that poem, Don't Quit. And it also tells you there are three things to live by in college from Coach Jeff Mark at West Point. Every day, try to do the right thing. Number two, every day, give your best effort to whatever you do. And number three, show people you care. Those are the core values of Oceanside. They're core values of the school you're probably going to. Bring them with you. And the last thing, You know, there's so many people to thank Dr. Mitchell and, and Mr. Lee did a great job, but you know, there are unsung heroes here. Like in our administration, um, Dr. Harrington, we appreciate all you do, and Ms. Bravito, Dr. DeRosa, and Mr. Copley, our principal, Dr. Mitchell, who's actually a very good soccer player and basketball player. Our associate principal, Mr. McKeel, is a, a Division One lacrosse player outstanding in Tennessee, he's a multiple sport athlete. Mr. Carbonetti, who's great in track. You know, these guys, like, they really love athletics, but they have to do all that work in their office to help us. And Ms. Patsy, thank you so much for what you've done. And finally, Mr. Beeman, our athletic director. You know, someone gave me a book that says, every moment matters. So to me, this moment matters for you, Mr. Beeman, whose authentic and caring spirit have made a long-lasting impact on all of our student athletes and each one of you today. Our coaches, he's affected and positively influenced our coaches and our teachers. And it's a gift for which I am so grateful. Jessica, May, Grace, Jordana, Brian, Jake, Mike, Brett, Natalie, Emma, we thank you for all your dedication, all the sacrifices you've made. So, as you go forward on your journey, try to go forward with these three things with kindness for others, with humility when you win and courage when you lose. But always carry them in heart because those are the, those are the values of Oceanside. I recently received a gift from a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful family. And, and I wish this for each of you. And it's a little poem because we don't know when we'll see each other again. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the rain fall softly on your shoulders. And may the sunshine warm upon your face. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. who will always be with you. Thank you for what you've given us.
interviews will be uploaded onto the Sailor Station YouTube page as soon as possible. We encourage you to visit our YouTube page for other school content. Thank you all for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, Brett, before we get into the serious questions, I have kind of a funny question that I came up with. If you were able to have like a walk-up song, like an intro song, whenever you walk into a room or onto the field, what would it be and why? Um, I would have a song. Probably a Metallica song because it's super electric. I'm not sure which song now. Thunderstruck maybe by ACDC. How come? It's like a very like pumped up song. I agree. Um, now time for the serious questions. Um, how would you describe your last four years being an athlete for OHS? I would describe it as a, a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work that I've put in with my teammates and, uh, and our coaches to try to be the best team that we could. Okay. Uh, what are you most proud of Brett for accomplishing over his last four years? I think Brett did a great job of fighting through adversity you know, on, on, a, uh, on a daily basis, a yearly basis. Uh, he's someone that showed a lot of growth right, from his first year as a freshman <laughs> all the way to <laughs> now his senior year. Um, you know, I, I guess the most proud of the aspect of, you know, how, who he's become as a young man, like, uh, whether it's in the locker room on his team, um, you know, he, he's one of the guys that uh, his teammates would end up uh, revolving around, right? someone that was a sense of inspiration and motivation for a lot of his teammates. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Brett, you're going to uh, SUNY Maritime. Uh, what are you looking forward to in college? I'm looking forward to, um, obviously, have fun playing football, but also to uh, join my brother, He's also playing at Maritime also, but uh, have a lot of fun, meet new friends, mm -hmm. and enjoy my time there. Okay. Um, this question is for either of you. Um, what advice would you give to incoming freshmen about being student athletes? I would give my best advice to uh, work hard and never give up. Okay. Uh, do you have any advice? I think for, for me, I would end up telling young student athletes coming in to uh, take everything on a day by day basis. You know, understanding that you're going to have some ups and downs, uh, and uh, be at the ability to play the, the long haul. I right? understand that you know everything's not going to come to you right away. You know, it, everyone runs their own race. Okay, that's some great advice, guys. Um, Brett, what are you looking? What do you? Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself one year after graduation finding a very stable job. Do you know what that would be? I'm not completely sure now. Okay. Um, so that's all the questions. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Before I start asking you guys like the real like introspective questions about being college athletes and your experiences in OHS, I have a fun question. If you guys can pick an intro song or like a walk-up song, what would it be and why? Um, <laughs> it's a rough right. question. Probably um, Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. I'm going to have to second that one. Yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, I'm going to have to third that one. <laughs> all the same song? Yeah, yeah, best song of all time. Yeah. It's all right, there. I agree. Um, what advice would you guys give to incoming freshmen that lead student athletes? Um, I would just say stick with it. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs, you know, whatever sport, but you just got to stick with it. You know, it's, it's all going to be good. And then, I say follow the people in front of you. Make sure you follow the older kids who lead by example. So just work hard. Your time's going to come. Be patient. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you guys see yourselves in five years, like coming out of college? Where do you guys see yourselves? I want to be a cop, so hopefully I'm a cop in five years. Nice. Ho hopefully a, a job. A job? You yeah. don't know where? Just a job? Just a job. Just Making job. money? Yeah. Right up. I want to be rich. You want to be rich too? Yeah, I want to be rich. We all want to be rich. Yeah. Stack the paper. Yep. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to in college? Um, looking forward to playing lacrosse and just the social aspect of college. Just new experiences. I agree with that. Meeting new people, new friends, new teammates. Yeah. I can't wait to get a little playing time in. So that'll be fun. <laughs> and uh, meeting new people is also great. All right. Well, that's all the questions. Thank you guys for coming out and congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, before I get into the like introspective questions about like being an athlete for OHS for the past four years and like asking you about like what do you how, what are you looking forward to? I have a fun question. Mm -hmm. If you can pick an intro song like as a walk-up song, 
What would it be and why? Okay, that's a hard one, but I think I'm going to go with Public Service Announcement by Jay-Z. I love that song. It's just hype. Love it. Do you have one? No. (laughs) No. My days are long gone. There's no walk-up songs then. So, But I I totally endorse Jordana's choice. Thanks. (laughs) Okay. Uh, How would you describe your last four years being an athlete for OHS? It's been so much fun. I really love um, the team that I'm with because I'm a thrower on track and field. It's a small group that we... um, I work together with every single day and I don't know I just love seeing them every day it really it finishes um like my school day off like really well Mm -hmm. um this question could be for either of you um what advice would you give to incoming freshmen about being student athletes oh I'd say figure out a balance between your schoolwork um and your uh like after school life because at times does get difficult especially with all the late meets that I go to um but I feel like once you figure out that balance of when exactly to do your homework and all that, um, it's it's a really fun addition to your school day. Yeah, and figuring out that balance is going to help everybody out later in life. And Jordana is an excellent student. I was lucky enough to have her in the classroom. Uh, but she's also excellent for the team, too. So it's, you know, when you figure out that balance and you can rock both worlds, that's a great thing to see. And that's what makes a lot of these student athletes so successful later on after their careers, their athletic careers are over and they're doing real world stuff. What advice would you give her for like being in college? This one, mm. just be herself. <laughs> she was Thanks. great here. Uh, she's talking about that, like you know, like the throwers. Like we have a big team, but they, we have like smaller sections in the different events, and there, that crew is really such a special crew. I love watching them be successful, uh, and I don't have to be there for the because our assistant coach, uh, Coach Ganane, does a great job. He knows all the technical stuff about throwing. So just watching them work together and just feed off of each other and just be there and support each other. That's like, as a coach, that just makes me as happy as I could be. As a coach, what are you most proud of her accomplishing? Her leadership, like that she's been. And just also when she's focused on something, she'll go and get it. And like the weight throw this year was a great example. Like that is a very difficult event just by itself. And then we had obstacles in the way of being successful at that. And she didn't let that stop her. Jordana made it a point. And she put in all the work, and it paid off big time for us at the end. In fact, that was the last event we needed to come in when we won the conference championship. And that's because of all the work that Jordan had put in that nobody sees. And uh, it paid off for us, like the whole crew. Thanks. <laughs> uh, where do you see yourself in five years after college? Uh, actually, in five years, I'll still be in college. <laughs> um, <laughs> my program is a five-year architecture program. Um, so I'll be in my final year of college. And then hopefully after that, um, I will have my architecture license. Ooh. And um, I don't know. I really want to live in the city. It's always been my dream. I used to live there, and uh, I want to go back. It feels like home. Oh, that sounds fancy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to in college? Oh, in college, I'm definitely looking forward to um, the people. I'm going to an art school, and I feel like I would be surrounded by all of the types of people that I love. Um, I even found my new roommate, and she's not only doing architecture, but she's also a thrower. And I think that um, surrounding myself with people similar to me is good for me. All right, that's all the questions for today. Thank you guys for coming out, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Before I start with, like, the serious questions about, like, you know, being all introspective about, like, going to college, being a student athlete and all that, uh, I have a fun question of my own. Um, If you guys were able to have, like, a walk-up song or, like, an intro song, what would it be and why? Mine would be September 21st, because that's my birthday. Oh, that's a good one. What's that song that I like? I would do I would do uh, shipping up to Boston because I'm very Irish and that gets me like going. <laughs> I would probably do the one that we have now. We do thunder, so probably that. Nice. Maybe like bring them out just because like upbeat and like. All right, good answers. Um, what are you guys looking forward to in college? I'm looking forward to new experiences and meeting different people and being able to play with new people too. Mm-hmm. So. I'm looking forward to being like in the dorm and like not living at home, like and being able to just like walk across like to the next room. It just seems fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm looking forward to playing lacrosse and meeting new friends. I'm looking sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I'm it's looking. All good. I'm looking forward for the like new realm of opportunity that college will give me, and then also the fact that I could study abroad while also playing a sport. That's a good one. I'm looking forward to meeting new people and also playing lacrosse. Okay. Um, how would you guys describe your four years being an athlete for OHS? I think there's not enough words to describe it because like we're all college athletes now, all because of what this school has given us. Um, the coaches, the support, the family, 
aspect of every team you're on here is really, um, yeah. That's Would you amazing. say you're grateful for the experience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. every part of it. I think it's the best part. Personally. I wouldn't yeah. take it yeah. back. It's amazing. Yeah. Very it's special. Amazing. Like every sport that we all played, like the culture, everybody's into it, and we're all just bringing each other up, and it's mm-hmm. like a family. Okay. Um, where do you guys see yourselves in five years? Hopefully I graduated college. Yeah. <laughs> All my classes. And hopefully I'll be a nurse. That's that's the dream, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I'll be becoming a teacher. That's Me too. Idea. What would you guys be teaching? Uh physical education. Nice. Social studies. Okay. Um I'll I don't know yet, but <laughs> hopefully whatever I'm doing, I'm loving it. Well you'll figure it out along yep. the way. That's what college is for. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully in grad school become uh, physical therapist. Nice. Um, that looks like uh, all of our questions. Uh, thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you.